Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. No matter how hard they've tried, Josh and Jordan can't sell their house. We're just stumped. The couple's efforts inside haven't impressed potential buyers. That would never work for me. If the buyers make it inside at all. Oh my goodness, look at that door. But I'm here to help. The more people you get through the door, the more likely you're going to get a sale. With a budget of $5,000 and some smart design and staging tips, I think buyers are going to notice the difference. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Listed as one of the top 10 US cities to visit, Savannah, Georgia is known as the hostess of the South. Not only rich in natural beauty, culture, and history, the city's welcoming vibe can be felt in its many restaurants, cafes, and attractions. It's no wonder houses here are snapped up quickly, except this one. This 1,600-square-foot, three-bedroom, two-bath house, listed at $185,000, has been on the market for almost four months. Curb appeal is vital if you want to entice a buyer. Your house might be perfect on the inside, but if it looks poorly maintained or run down on the outside, you're not going to get people through the door. Josh and Jordan and their daughter Madden need to sell their house. We're actually talking about expanding our family, and we're a little short on space here. We're also on a fairly busy highway, and going outside with Madden, we have to be really careful. She's too, she's small, but she's quick, very quick. But despite their desire for a new house, they've only had three showings and no second viewings. We have tried everything. We've tried staging our house. We went to my mother's house to borrow everything. The chairs and the couch and her kitchen table, everything. No matter what we do paint-wise, swapping furniture around, that kind of thing, it doesn't it seem doesn't to be... It doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't it's not bringing blend, people back. It doesn't... Right. Nothing on the outside is saying, come in and buy me. I wonder what the inside is going to say. So your house has been for sale for four months. That's right. got to be tough. Getting to the point where I want things to happen. Well, what would be great is if you could show me around, and then I can see where the problem areas are, and then we can go from there. Sounds good. This is our living room, which we love. Lots of patterns. Yes. Pink and stripes and flowers and paisleys. And polka dots. And polka sweet. dots. Yes. It's Trying to appeal to, you know, everyone. everyone. And so this is the home office. Again, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on. You need a place for your right. computer, but the problem is that's probably not the best place for it. And here's the dining room. Wow. Nothing said by me like a pug with wings. Oh, it's our princess. That's our family pet. And then we have our laundry area. Right. In the dining room. And we don't have a door on one side. I can see why this is going to put buyers off. Right. Because people like a dedicated laundry room and then a formal dining room. And the combination of food and clothes is right. like, Right, ah. it's just. And then this. Hmm. Doesn't look like you're doing a lot of entertaining out here. Yeah. Well, we bought this nice patio furniture. Yeah, it's great. Buy it and, and then pile it up. And not kind of storing it out here. Storing yeah. it, yeah. Right. You've got to think of outside space, not just as the yard, but as an extension of the house. It's all about creating an ambiance, creating atmosphere. You don't feel like this would be a cocktail party area right now? <laughs> no. This is a wasted no. space. I hate seeing wasted space. This is our guest room. What is going on here? You want a door, <sighs> a ironing board? Yes. Were you trying to entice people into the room with this lovely uh, yes, shade of mud? We were trying to decide about a paint color and we decided against that. But is it fair to say this is just a dumping ground for your junk? It is. I'm afraid so. We definitely got something to do in here. Would you like to see our bedroom? I can't wait. <laughs> now, this is our master bedroom. These are the lovely closets that don't really work. You've got a lot of closet space. Of closet. It could be a selling feature, but at the moment, it's just not doing it. No. I like your color choices. You just need to finish the job. And then you've got this big bed, and this room just feels small. 
Now to address what I think is this home's biggest issue. I think the main problem is the curb appeal. I mean, look, you've got peeling, pillars, mm -hmm. this door. But what I think would be really, really good is to have an open house. I'm scared. You might not like what they say, but it's going to help us make those changes that we need to make to get this house sold. Whatever it takes. Houses in this neighborhood sell between $179,000 and $250,000. At $185,000, Jordan and Josh's house is priced to sell. But according to Realtor Lori, they're hardly getting any showings. In this market, in Savannah, things have got to show perfectly or else they're not going to sell. You've got to get it perfect to get the buyers in. I've asked Lori to organize an open house so we can get some buyers through the door. Then I'll report back exactly what they're saying. These definitely have to be done. Oh, definitely. At least paint them. There is a lot going on in here with the red and the chairs and then the well, stripes and the sofa. Matches. Jordan and Josh's house could be so cute. And unfortunately, the uses of space are a little confusing. With your washer and dryer in there? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I didn't see that. I think now. this is an afterthought as a dining area. Well, that would never work for me. It looks like a great size yard, but the yeah. patio needs some cleaning or whatever. Well, I am shocked that they would put this house on the market with the doors leaning against, against the, the wall. Exactly. All right, this must be the master bedroom. Oh, my goodness. Closet. You have got to be wow, kidding me. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not sure I could imagine myself mm -hmm. here. There's too much work to be done. Either we'd make improvements to the home, take it off the market, or drop the price considerably. Now it's time to sit Jordan and Josh down and give them the news. Can you guess what most people said first off the bat? Somebody with the door. The curb appeal. Some buyers didn't want to come in the house. Some people said that they were shocked that anyone would put their house on the market in that state. Oh, ouch. The way you sell your house is you get the most people through the door. If you're cutting down that amount of people by half because they're not even walking in the front door, that's not good. So that's really something that we've got to address. Now, when they came into the dining room, what do you think they said? Is this a dining room? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, the bedrooms. They thought that the room was small, but in actual fact, it's not small. People said this was a great starter home, but it needed too much work. Are you prepared to get your hands dirty? Yes. Absolutely. Excellent. This house has been on the market for four months, and I tell you what, I am not surprised. With my $5,000 budget, I'm going to change that. Inside, the living room feels cramped because of its long shape and mismatched furniture. We'll remove the desk and replace the existing furnishings with smaller pieces more to scale. We'll complete the look with a beautiful area rug matching throw pillows and accessories. The dining room is not ideal because the laundry room's there and they're not really making the most of it. First, I'll conceal the laundry and reconfigure the furniture for better flow. We'll brighten the window with new curtains and add a new dining room table and chairs. And the guest bedroom, I'm going to turn it into a home office because I think they really could do with that. I'll repaint the walls, replace the bed with a new desk and chairs and add colourful accents. The master bedroom's not looking great. You've got missing doors, odd paint swatches, a ginormous bed. In the master, we will replace the giant bed with a smaller one from the guest room, which I will give a fresh decorative touch to. New window treatments and linens will complete the look. We're going to make the entertaining space outside really, really fantastic. So I've immediately put Josh and Jordan to work cleaning the back patio. All right, so let's start putting it away. Where do you begin? Buyers love this fireplace, but at the moment, you can't even see it because it's full of clutter. So we're going to get rid of that and open it up. Fireplaces are on many buyers' must-have list, so it's vital it shows as an attractive focal point rather than a spot for leftover stuff. I'm not sure what that is. Some curtains. If you've got a feature like a fireplace, there's no point hiding it. It's a feature, you've got to show it off. Look, guys, you've done an amazing job. Why didn't you do this four months ago? Just needed the proper motivation. You needed the bossy British girl, didn't you, to tell you what to do? Keeping your home looking fantastic on the outside can be a big job but I can't stress the importance of curb appeal enough. That's why I'm sending the couple to view a similar home in their neighborhood. This 1,800 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house, listed at $250,000, sold in just under a year, 
and its well-kept exterior may be part of the reason. This is very nice. Yeah, they have an actual flower bed up front. Their walkway looks nice. Here, I feel like I want to go inside and actually see what's in it. This is nice. I love the open. But that's kind of like what we have. Yeah, we do have the open, but ours just feels choppy. It's staged well. No wonder why it's sold. I love the dining area. There's a laundry area. Nice door blocking it. And you just nice close it off and you're done. You don't have to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, this is nice. Yeah, they got a nice big bed like we have, yet there yeah. seems to be... Not so cramped. But... I don't think our room is that much smaller, though. It just feels like it. Yeah. Well, we need to figure out real quick uh, what they did that we're not doing. Well, I mean, I, mean, I think, think it's pretty obvious what yeah. they did. They actually staged their home. It just makes such a big difference. It makes them welcoming. Get some more people coming and taking a look. Right. We need the traffic. Back at the house, we're clearing out the living room and sending all the mismatched furniture back to Jordan's mum's house. Everybody Where did everything what go? What happened in here? You leave us in your house for a little bit and we take away all your furniture. How was the comparable house? It was eye-opening, definitely. Uh -huh. You should see the front of their house versus ours. And then what was it like inside? The yeah. colors were great. They were soothing. They were neutral. And the bedrooms? They probably had the same size of bed we do, but it seemed much more spacious. So you've learned a lot. Yes. Excellent. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to finish up here. And if you get your work clothes on, I have some projects for you. Perfect. Started. Let's Excellent. Go. With this space cleared out, the team immediately get to work, putting up a nice pale gray in the bedroom. Keeping the contrast low between the wall color and the furniture will make the room feel bigger. Now, Josh, you knew we'd end up here eventually, right? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. Yeah, you know, dead trees and brown leaves work for some people, but uh, first time home buyers, not so much. So I'm finding out. Yeah, we're gonna clear it all out, dig up these trees, let people see your house. Okay. All right. Sounds okay. good. Let's do that. All right, let's get to work. Yep. It's just bouncing off of this. <laughs> Those bushes were hard. Now you see why these are still here. Yeah. They had some fight to them. Yeah. That's not are you a whole lot. Trying? Josh was a little timid at first, but uh, once he took that machete, he was like a man possessed. Die. Die now. <laughs> Go away. Good man. Good man. That put a hurting on it. You're doing a good job. But I'm not done yet. Good man. There's more to come. You're feeling it now, see? It took a lot of effort, but I think we've done a lot of good. Now that it's done, it looks fantastic. I'm exhausted, but I feel great. We did a lot. In this heat, we got down and dirty, dug out those trees, and kept the energy high, and we got a lot done. The inside of the house is taking shape, but the biggest transformation has definitely been on the outside. It's beginning to look really, really great. It's really important that the outside of the house looks fabulous, so buyers want to come inside. Pressure washing is a really cheap and easy way to get the front of the house clean. OK, you're going to help me, so we just need to make a big well in the middle like that. There you go. Potted plants like this are a great way of adding a bit of colour to the front of the house. They're going to look really, really pretty. And as long as you remember to water them a lot, they should last for a good long time. Now that the outside's really shaping up, inside I've got a great staging trick to show Jordan. When you're selling your house, you want it to be neutral, but no one wants to live in a white box. We've got these really great photographs that we're gonna put up in what was the guest bedroom. I like them, great colors. It's just so easy, you just take photographs and then you blow them up and you buy these illustration boards and mats these sort of picture frames. You get them from any shop and they're really not expensive at all. And then we'll just put it in and it will look really, really professional and colorful. That is perfect. So we'll just put it on like that. If you just center them like that. Mm -hmm. And just tape it in the corners like that. Then we'll just put it in. And the best thing is, they're gonna tie in with the furniture, they're gonna add a bit of color, and then just clip it in. That is really easy. So, what do you think? It looks great. The colors really just pop. The frame is awesome. So easy to do. That's no. amazing. Perfect. 
Thank you so much. Love it. We're nearly complete, but before the finishing touches, we say goodbye to Josh and Jordan. We showed those trees it was boss, right? Yes, we did. But now it's time for you guys to leave, so the reveal's a bit of a surprise. We have a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Do. Thank you. See you Thanks later. Let's go before they make us work. <laughs> <laughs> The dining room had a number of problems. I mean, who wants to eat dinner while looking at their washer and dryer? So we added trim around the frame, added some nice shuttered doors. It's hidden, but it looks great. These white marble chips are fab. They add to the curb appeal because they're nice and bright, but they're also low maintenance. They keep the weeds down, and they also keep the moisture in the soil so you don't have to water the plants as much. Before the living room wasn't really working and it was not easy on the eye, but now we've moved the furniture around, taken away those crazy patterns, taken out the home office, repositioned the television and painted the room this really lovely blue colour. And I think buyers are going to notice the difference. Having the laundry room in the dining room was really putting buyers off because who wants to see that when they're eating? But moving them was not an option, so these brand new doors hide the evidence. This guest bedroom was definitely not a selling feature. It was more a dumping ground for unwanted household items. But that's now all changed. We've turned it into a fantastic, flexible office space that I can really imagine buyers using. So come on up, guys, to your new house. Looks like a different house. I it's know. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm just in shock. I remember buyers were just not even coming through the door. And now they're going to drive past and it looks well maintained, it looks presentable. Oh my god, I cannot believe just how everything's changed. So look, we've got oh. brand new shrubs, brand new flowers. Oh, look, we have a bench. I'm so excited. And you've got your new white outside lights matching the door. I love it. If someone had said we were going to paint the trim and the pillars black, what would you have thought? Oh, I, I couldn't I wouldn't imagine. have thought that. No. No. <laughs> no. But this looks so good. So what do you think of all your hard work pulling the trees out? It's paid off. It sure looks like it. It, it looks fantastic. It looks amazing. You really did do a great job. It's like a fresh start. So hopefully it's going to get it sold. It has to. Well, if you're excited about the outside, I'm really looking forward to you seeing the inside. So should we get on in there? Yes, please. Let's go. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look how pretty. Wow. The room is completely turned around. Oh, my god. Yes. It doesn't look like the same room, does it? Before, it just felt a bit darker, but now it's really bright. The sitting room felt quite narrow. Mm -hmm. So we just flipped, we moved the sofa to there, gave you a few little blue armchairs, add some nice. colour. I think it's fun and uh -huh. young. It all kind of works together, though. It does all work oh, together. No perfect. clashing patterns. It looks bigger. It does look bigger. The space looks bigger. It really is. Perfect. And do you recognize this piece of furniture? Yes, it's from when I was a child. I love <laughs> it. I love everything. Wait till you see the dining room. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, this is oh. so nice. It actually feels like a dining room. It oh. is a dining room, but also you've almost got two rooms for the price of one because you've got this little seating area here. Yeah. These chairs are great. And then you've got your dining area. And we took away all the stuff that was in the fireplace. Rather than hiding the fireplace, it's where we can see it. Yeah, and we put the fern there because, you know, add a bit of colour. But you can see it's a fireplace and it's not covered. It doesn't have all this stuff in it. Oh, this room. Remember what, what were the exact words they used? They said that this room felt like an afterthought. Mm-hmm. But it certainly doesn't feel like an afterthought now, does not it? At it does all. not. And look, we have hidden the laundry room. What a difference that makes. Just doors. Who need doors can make that much of a difference? I love the green table. That's amazing. And the best thing about this green here is that it leads the eye out to your new patio. This space has been completely transformed. This is amazing. One of the negatives before was that the backyard was just not very nice. And now look at it. It's oh, nice. It's lovely. It's the really lovely. It's amazing. It is beautiful. I can't believe the change. 
It's remarkable. What do you think about your retro cooler? Awesome. We've got some solar powered lanterns which light up at night. Very cool. Now we got rid of the palm tree, we mowed the lawn, we put flowers in. It's a different yard. It really is. It's a usable space now. Would well, you want to come and see the rest of the house? Yes, please. Oh hey. my. This looks like an office. Oh my goodness. This office is killer. This is no longer a dumping ground for ironing boards and old cupboard doors. No. This is a cool, funky office. Definitely can see myself working in here. I'm going to have to find an office type job <laughs> so I can do this a little more. If you're excited about this room, you are going to be bowled over when you see your bedroom. Yes. Oh, wow. my. It's a new room. Oh, my goodness. I don't know okay. where to begin. <laughs> There's so much space now. Some of the comments we had from the open house were they said that the master bedroom was too small. Well, no one can say that now because there's acres of space. Look, I, there's the mirror. I can get up in the morning, yes. get dressed, look in the mirror. You've got all this space. You can open the cupboard doors. It's a different room. It is. <laughs> Madden's going to love all this extra space. Yeah. Most important thing is that buyers love it. That's true. Someone's going to buy this house now. Oh, yeah, they definitely will. After looking at the house and all of the work that y'all put into it, we are definitely going to get some offers now. I know it's going to sell. I feel great about all the changes they made. I feel like this is the kind of thing that's going to get this house sold. And that's what this is all about. Josh and Jordan love the changes, so we've brought back our potential buyers to get their thoughts on the house. Oh my god, I love it. I cannot believe the difference. It's so bright and cheery. It looks bigger, a lot bigger now. This is fantastic. I don't know how they're going to move from here because it's really inviting. It's so much more spacious and it's coordinated throughout the house and yet it has touches of really interesting artwork. I definitely could see myself living here. What we need to do now is get the buyers in and get this house sold. Yes. It was lovely to meet oh, you guys. Thank you Good so luck. much. I think this house is now sellable. Madden, what Madden? do you think this house is? It's sellable. Sellable! Couldn't have said it better myself. I know. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Sophie. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Sophie.